Hi, welcome to Undead Yarn. My name is Heidi, and you can find me on Ravelry and Plurk as Knitty Girl, and on Twitter and Instagram as Knitty Girl One. Um. Oh, before I started, I wanted to say, oh, this is also episode 23. I don't know if I said that. Um, I wanted to start off by saying thank you to Swensty, who is Sarah and Morgan from Fibertrek for uh, the shout out to the podcast. I really enjoy watching theirs, so um, it was nice to hear that they also like watching me. <laughs> um, and I also wanted to say a special thank you to Pinhook and Needles, not just for mentioning me on their podcast, but also Lady Fernanko, who is Marlicia. She gifted me a pattern from Rowelry for a toothless since I um, mentioned last time that I wanted to make a toothless, or I wanted a toothless stuffy. Um, and she gifted me the pattern. It's a toothless pattern. It's a knit pattern, and it's by Mary Campbell. So I'm thinking um, maybe around uh, Halloween time, like sometime in October, I'm going to get to knitting that. Because um, right now I'm, I have a bunch of other stuff I want to knit. But um, thank you very much, and uh, thank you to you and uh, Talia for mentioning my podcast. And um, if you have, you guys haven't checked them out, you should go check them out. They are prolific knitters and crocheters. They have lots of things going. They finish lots of stuff. And right now they're doing a um, knit along for uh, heart awareness um, and. They are going to be giving away the Knit Red and the Knit Crochet books to those of y'all that enter. So thank you to, the, to you ladies, to all you ladies. Um, next, what I'm going to do is go ahead and start talking about my works in progress. Um, I went back to working on my tank top and I didn't get very far. But at least this time I can tell y'all what the, the, name of the um, name of the pattern is and everything. This is knit with bottom is fiddle knits yarn. I love those colors, the red, or it's not red, it's um, yellow and brown. And then this is a brown color. This is a knit pick stroll. And the thing that I'm knitting is called the tunic tank and it's by Mandy, or no, Marty Red, Wren. And I'm knitting this on size 11 Addies. But I've gotten to the point where um, I split for front and back and the instructions on it were a little confusing but since I've done a bunch of tank tops before I kind of fiddled with them my own um, it didn't say to start a new yarn but if you're gonna split them you really have to start a new yarn you can't just keep going um, in the round it won't work when you're binding off and knitting so I split and then I started binding off and then it said switch to the size 8 needles. So I pulled out my Addies and I was like, they are not in the case. This is my Addy interchangeables. They are not in the case. Guess where they are? Luckily it was in a project that I already had out because otherwise I would have not known where they were. They're on the Rustic Autumn Shawl, <laughs> which was the other... Uh, old work in progress that I pulled out and I was I'm knitting this this is some recycled yarn that I had um, that I dyed I think I dyed this with food coloring and I dyed it using some instructions on the web for dyeing a gradient um, I don't think it's quite it's not quite a gradient to me because there's lots of little splotches of the blue and it's not continuous it's mostly blue and then white with splotches and then it turns blue again so I don't think that this is the best I would not recommend the tutorial for um, dyeing yarn in a gradient basically it has a you cake up the ball and then immerse put it in um, the water and only put it up like it's low immersion basically don't fill it over the skein but just put the wound up skein of yarn into the pot and then put your dye in and this is what happens. It, it doesn't get on the end. It doesn't get on the inside. Maybe if you um, did a looser hank, but I don't, I wouldn't recommend using that tutorial. I don't think that's the best way to dye a gradient, but it's still kind of cool. 
And at this point, that forced me to, because I need these needles, <laughs> I'm almost finished. All I have to do is bind off the end of it, because um, these are my size eights. So all I have to do is bind it off. I've gotten through all the repeats, and the bind off is a crochet, double crochet repeat, and I think I have enough. I, yeah, I have enough to finish it. So this should be finished by next week, which is great. Um, me needing those needles kind of <laughs> put me into gear, uh, gear on finishing this project. Um, I do have, oh, my shawl, my shawl's in timeout. The first pattern I had in mind, and I had a swatch for it, and it looked great, but um, one pattern was just plain, uh, you know, lace, and then the other pattern was knitted lace, which is when every single row has lace repeats and there's no rest rows, and honestly, I don't really feel like knitting on that. I don't want to knit a whole shawl on that pattern, so I tried a different pattern that was... Um, not knitted lace that had you know the rest rows with I was putting two patterns together basically putting two stitch patterns together into a shawl and it looked ridiculous it didn't look right at all I did not like the way the two um, stitch patterns looked together so I ripped the whole thing out and I think at this point there's um, one stitch pattern completely different not even the ones I was thinking about using but I found one that I really like, and I may just make a very simple stole just using one stitch pattern, and it'll be a free pattern. <laughs> I really want to knit with the yarn because it's one that um, I hope to, I'm probably eventually going to put in the shop. I love the bright pink, and um, I know that Steph from Mustache had knit a pink shawl too recently. She knit hers in nine days. I'm not going to try to knit mine in nine days. <laughs> But anyway, that hot pink color is, I love it. And um, I'm probably going to dye some lace weight yarn when I get it. I do have a new supplier, so um, I'm waiting on the yarn from them. And I'm going to have some lace weight in that shipment. So I'll probably start putting lace weight in the shop. Uh, and anyway, there's going to be a hot pink skein. Um, I do have one FO. And these are still wet because I wore them as soon as I finished them I put them on I was like oh I love these these are Western Sky Knits the um, I have spun up some 100% merino and then I use them to knit socks and look it's funny one of them looks bigger than the other and I use the same stitch count and everything so who knows <laughs> it could just be that they're wet but it's probably not I think one is more floppy than the other maybe I'll um put one of them in the dryer although I really don't want to I don't want it to be too felted so I don't know we'll see if they start stretching out because I had to wash it by hand I used um, Rapture the scent from um, Euclid that Kristen Umdahl uh, created and I love they smell so yummy now I use them to wash these but they're still wet so we'll see I love them. They're really warm. They're cushy. They just feel great. And I don't know, maybe they won't last forever. We'll see. But um, I'm very happy with them. They look really cool. So it makes me want to um, spin more so I can knit some more stuff out of my hand spun. Um, well, let's talk about the week in review. I don't really have a whole lot to say because I've mostly been dying and just doing stuff around the house. But last Thursday, I did go down to Hill Country Weavers and, to meet Stacy from Mustache Podcast so that um, she was very kind and lent me a book. Um, so I went down there to meet her, and she was there with Steph from her podcast, her friend, and um, I don't know who the other two... There were two ladies there that were uh, Steph's friend, and I think one was her sister-in-law. I'm not sure what their names were. Um, but also, Diane from Suburban Stitcher was there, and Cherie from Kirby Werby Yarns was there. So it was really nice to meet them. They're very nice people. I had a good time talking to them. Um, hopefully, in the future, I can see them again and uh, be nice to get to know them a little better. But they're all very nice people, and thank you, Steph, for not Steph. 
thank you, Stacy, for lending me the book. Um, so that was my excitement about this past week. I haven't really been doing much. Um, it's been wonderful. I can get up and I usually get up in the morning and um, have my coffee and breakfast and, and then I walk my dog and then I come back and get ready for my day. Um, wearing t-shirts and jeans or sweatpants or whatever I want. <laughs> I've been enjoying my summer so far. Um, another thing that's been going on, oh I forgot to mention what I bought. I bought some Sweet Georgia yarn and I also bought some Rolex and they were from somebody in Canada. The Rolex were pretty, they're um, mostly white which is not something I normally gravitate towards but it was neat because they're white and then they have little strands of all these different colors so it's kind of like a you know the neutral rainbow thing that people are liking like white or gray or black with the rainbow colors so I got some of those because I thought they were kind of neat and they kind of reminded me of the Rolag that I made off of the blending board when I took that uh, class at the Happy You so um, I'm I may, who knows, maybe I'll ply all those together when I get it. And the Sweet Georgia yarn is purple and pink, and I bought it because um, I don't know that I've seen her sock yarn anywhere else. I, I Happy You has her yarn, but I think what I bought was maybe lace, because it had some silk in it. I don't know that I bought sock yarn, and y'all know I knit socks all the time. That's my, um, that's my easy knitting. Um, it's funny, I am thinking about knitting a pair of patterned socks, but the reason I'm thinking about doing that is because I have something that I've dyed that I want to try out before I put it in the shop, and I think it will look cool with patterned socks, so that's to come. <laughs> um, oh, I also um, pulled for the Podiversary winner, and the Reading Knitter, you are the winner. Believe it or not, the random number generator, it was 2 through 24. 24 is the one that came up. I was like, what? <laughs> How often does that ever happen? Zero. It's it's like two coming up. So you're lucky. You were the last one in and you were the first you were the winner. <laughs> so the reading knitter, I will probably um, ear burn you, but it, when you um, when you hear this or you get the air burn, go ahead and um, tell me which pattern you want. Remember, it's a pattern of $7 or less, so let me know which pattern you want. It's a, and it needs to be giftable on Ravelry. And I do still have a contest going. It's going through the end of July, and that is the knit all the things. It's really knit or crochet all the things. Whatever you finish in the months of June and July, you can post in the thread. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there already, and I don't mind, as long as the other podcasters don't mind, if you're doing something for Stash Dash or like Summer of Socks that uh, Tap Girl on the Go is doing or um, the Knit Red thing that I mentioned that Pen Hooks and Needle are doing, whatever you're working on, if you finish it in the months of June and July, you can post it in that thread, and it doesn't matter to me when you started it. Just as long as you finished it during the um, during those two months, my dog is growling at something out. She's looking out the window and growling at somebody. <laughs> yes, because she's so tough, my little multi poo. <laughs> um, then I also wanted to talk about um, my new dyeing. I have one new color. I am going to be dyeing up some more of. Uh, I think I'm going to dye up some more of the sport weight yarn, but this one is on, this one I did on the DK, this is on the, is it Werewolf? I have to look because I do have two DKs, one is Superwash and one is not, and this one is um, not, this is regular Merino. This is called Treebeard, it's a very dark, I've, I know that, that light, direct light washes stuff out, but it's hard it's hard to um, get correct lighting for these. Oh, that's not too bad. It's green with pops of brown, and it's a tonal green. Hmm. That looks more blue than green. <laughs> it's green. It's a really dark green. I love it. Um, 
So this will be up in the shop soon. This is still wet. It's drying. Um, and that's pretty much what I have to talk to you guys about for this week. So I'm going to sign off and say get busy knitting or get busy dyeing. Bye, y'all.